live down here in Brighton Beach. We got some rusty old structure over there, some remnants of a uh, previous society full of uh, Freddie Mercury and cocaine. But, well, I guess that was 50 years ago. No, I'm sorry, 40, more like 30. What am I saying? Anyway, you got a wind farm way out there, which is pretty cool. You got a rock beach. You got some old remnants of a uh, thing over there. We've had a uh, interesting ride down here, that's for sure. Luckily, we didn't get stopped by anyone, despite the fact that, uh, well, no, nothing, never mind, don't worry about that. Um, so, you know, we got the uh, 360 British Airways thing. That's kind of cool if you ask me. Maybe we should uh, get up there at some point. We've been lucky enough that despite the fact that it's super windy, we got to go to the, one of the best restaurants down here. That's the uh, the Regency just over there in the corner. If you get the chance, highly, highly, highly recommend. The scallops were to die for. We're lucky enough that our bikes are still working despite the fact that they are for sale. Um, I have 500 views. My editor, the editor-in-chief has about 800 views, but <laughs> I think we've only received like three phone calls between us. Uh, I'm not sure what's happening with that. I'm sure it's cor Corona time. Corona time. Is probably having an impact with that, but beyond that, we have an upside down house. Um, that's kind of sexy if you ask me. But yeah, thank you for joining us on this uh, wild adventure, I would say. How dare you? Uh, <laughs> uh, just kidding. Leave something because uh, you know I love you. I mean, sorry, we love you. And uh, and uh, uh, I'm losing it. I'm losing it. <laughs> sorry, guys. I don't actually have a lot to say. Uh, we've been out of action for a couple months. We're trying to get back on into it. Lucky enough, we're, we're finally getting back into riding. You know, my editor-in-chief bikes, his was dead. His battery was gone, his front tire was flat. So we had to get that all sorted out. And uh, lucky enough, we made it down here. So, you know, one of the things I highly recommend is uh, you get sick and tired of London, you want to go someplace a bit different. The weather's not too bad, I must say. It's a bit windy, but Brighton's only uh, about two hours away, hour and a half if you want to take the motorway. But, uh, you know, we like to say um, it's not really interesting. <laughs> Let's be honest. Um, and you get to come down to a place like this. You get to have some amazing food, you get to hang out with your mates, and, uh, you know, enjoy a nice little rock beach, which is not really my forte, not really what I'm, what I'm into, but uh, to each their own, that's what I can say. And uh, luckily, unfortunately we didn't bring a uh, swimsuit, otherwise we would have uh, taken a dip. <laughs> It might be a little too cold for that. This is one of the problems with the UK is no matter what, it's just cold. You know, I'm, I'm Greek, right? So obviously it's always 40 degrees down there in the middle of summer. And uh, it's just nice. The water feels like a bathtub. It's crystal clear. Over here it's green. It's a very nice shade of green, but it's still green. Um, if you ask me, water's supposed to be blue just because of the natural order of physics and the world and the way the sun refracts off of it. It's, it's a fact. So... No, I'm not into green water. But anyhow, it's the UK, and this is the, it's doing its best, okay? So just take it easy. <laughs> uh, beyond that, thanks for joining us, uh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's and thems. You know that we love you. <laughs>